these films did not come as advertised. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for yet another top 10 misleading movie trailers. A new era has begun. The age of the Transformers is over. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at even more movie trailers that set us up to expect a different sort of film, be it in terms of style, tone, genre, plot, or otherwise. Though we'll try to keep it to a minimum, a spoiler alert is in effect. Don't mess with me. Come back here so that I may bring thee! I'm here for you! Don't do that, you're gonna get me killed! Number 10, Suicide Squad. Kudos to whoever edited the trailer for this poorly received but financially lucrative DC film. Set to Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody, the trailer promised a highly stylish, atmospheric film. It looked like it was going to be a relatively gritty flick, but one with enough quirks and dark humor to avoid coming across as gloomy. Basically, it came across as an angsty action flick with superpowers. And for all intents and purposes, it seemed to pretty clearly set up the Joker as the villain. I'm kidding! <laughs> That's not what they really said. Sadly, this sense of identity was sorely lacking in the actual film, and the Joker was reduced to little more than a bit player. Bring the car around. We're going for a drive. Number 9. Blue Valentine. Can't really sing. I have to sing goofy in order to sing. Like, I have to sing stupid. One word for you. Painful. At least, that's how we'd describe Blue Valentine, after having seen it. That's funny, huh? The film is excellent, but it's a depressingly honest look at how relationships begin, deteriorate over time, and eventually come to a possible end. Take a look at this trailer. It looks like a charming indie romance film. No one would have assumed it's a rom-com, but audience members could have easily gone into it expecting another dose of heartfelt and passionate romance akin to The Notebook, just with more indie charms and quirkiness. Rather than an affirmation of love, however, Blue Valentine will rip any and all romantic insecurities you might have wide open. <laughs> Number 8. Colossal I just looked at the news and I think I'm in shock. Unlike the first trailer for most monster movies, this indie sci-fi flick was happy to reveal its large creature up front. What it only vaguely alluded to, however, were the film's darker undertones. When it was billed as a black comedy, most people assumed the darkness came from the fact that this kaiju was destroying soul. But in reality, the issues are much more personal. Given the age of the characters, the presence of beers in the trailer seems unremarkable. But in hindsight, they were first signs of the real problem, alcohol addiction. The film also gets pretty deep into domestic abuse and toxic relationships. Not exactly the quirky ride people signed up for. You're lucky that the rest of us don't have I your- I thought you were leaving! Lucky that the rest of us don't You're lucky have I don't call the cops on you, you junkie! Number 7. Transformers Age of Extinction I think we just found a Transformer. When you walk into a Transformers movie, you know what to expect. But when this trailer came out, it made us question our assumptions. To be fair, it seems like a pretty standard fare. That is, until the very end of the trailer, when the Dinobots make their grand debut. <laughs> Dinobots? This changes everything. Finally, a deviation from the formula. Or so we were giving cause to hope. We get that a trailer is not a legally binding contract, but a big reveal at the end of a trailer usually infers that said reveal is actually a significant part of the film. Sadly, the Dinobots only showed up towards the end, and were woefully underutilized. All right, I know that you're sensitive to this whole bioethical d dilemma. Maybe all he wants to hear you say is that something should never be invented. Number six, the Cable Guy. Cable Guy? <laughs> Let's do this. By 1996, we had already been treated to Ace Ventura Pet Detective and Dumb and Dumber, understanding that Jim Carrey's characters are totally over the top and more than a little intense. But no amount of zany on-screen behavior could have prepared us for his role in The Cable Guy. <laughs> this trailer doesn't hold back on the odd behavior exhibited by Carrie's character Ernie, Chip Douglas. What it didn't make clear, however, was just how disturbing the plot would become. It's suspicious, isn't it? It's not a dark premise serving as the basis for a funny story. It's a dark premise that serves as the basis for a dark and disturbing story of manipulation, mental illness, and obsession. I can be your best friend or your worst enemy. You seem to prefer the latter. Number five, Passengers. Is he asking me on a date? She didn't seem that impressed. The trailer teased a compelling film. For some reason, Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence's characters are the only two people awake on a colony ship. Drama and romance inevitably ensue, as well as some life or death stakes. 
Who knows? Had the plot, as suggested by the trailer, actually been just that, maybe this film would have been a success worthy of its stars. Do you know what's going on? Nobody else is awake. Unfortunately, the trailer left out the twist. Pratt's character Jim was woken early by mistake and, out of loneliness, wakes up Lawrence's Aurora from her hibernation pod, after falling for her at first sight. It's a deeply unsettling plot, and not a role people were expecting to see Pratt play. Good morning, Aurora. How are you feeling? It's perfectly normal to feel confused. Number 4. Unbreakable Where are you sitting on the train? Against the window. A director makes a groundbreaking supernatural psychological horror film that proves to be a hit with critics and audiences. As a studio, you're crossing your fingers that this filmmaker sticks to the genre. But then he instead goes and makes a thriller that's hard to categorize. A groomed superhero film grounded in reality that deconstructs the comic book hero-villain dynamic. What's the marketing department to do? Apparently craft a trailer that basically makes the film look and feel like a horror film. Does it accurately represent the movie? No. But hey, anything to cash in on the success of M. Night Shyamalan's The Sixth Sense. No wonder audiences had mixed feelings when they saw Unbreakable. I almost gave up hope. There were so many times I questioned myself. I killed all those people. Number 3. Scream Hello. Hello. Who is this? Remember this cookie cutter 90s slasher starring Drew Barrymore? No? Probably because it never happened. In a classic bait and switch befitting this meta horror film by master of the genre Wes Craven, the first trailer for Scream started off as a total cliche. An aloof, unsuspecting blonde, played by Barrymore, accepts a phone call from a sinister figure. As the trailer progresses, we learn about our killer and get some insight into the self aware nature of the film. Do you like scary movies? What's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big breasted girl who can't act who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. But based on this first trailer, you never could have predicted just what a deconstruction of the genre it would be. Most misleading of all, however, is the fact that Barrymore was playing a bit part, not starring. Number 2 Brave. Trump! Dad's leg was clean off! Oh, that's my favorite part! <laughs> we understand the drive to keep the twist a secret, but sometimes, as is the case with Brave, that forces the editors to compile a trailer that, unfortunately, sells a very different story. By the looks of the trailer, this film was about a young princess, disinterested with the responsibility prescribed to her gender and position, who opts instead to go on an epic adventure of self discovery. If you had the chance to change your fate, would you? Though Merida's character was spot on, the whole adventure thing never really happened. What we got instead was a very intimate story about a mother and daughter, as explored through the mother's transformation into a bear. It was a great story, but not the one people signed up for. She's a bear! The trailer was very misleading! Number 1. Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. Somewhere in space, this may all be happening right now. Given that the original Star Wars is over 40 years old, even some diehard fans have never seen the trailer originally used to advertise this space opera. But go and watch it for yourself. In retrospect, the tone feels so wrong and clearly off-brand that you'll find yourself questioning whether this is real or some odd fan-made spoof. But trust us, it's real. Villains. From its 2001 A Space Odyssey sounding opening narration to the overtly serious action heavy quick snippets of footage, it feels totally alien. Honestly, it kind of comes across as a B movie. When it hit theaters, fans got a film with a very different tone. And that's a good thing. A billion years in the making. Star Wars. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.